Today's my payday and I'm filming my payday routine. Enjoy. How do we set this up? You guys are like, you need to know what goes into this because a whole lot goes into it. Step one to any budget is gonna to be to set the budget out on paper. So using our ultimate budget planner, I'm gonna be using the paycheck planner and lay out all of my bills probably the day before or a couple of days before. Okay, my favorite part of my payday routine is actually paying bills. I posted that this morning. I literally can't wait to pay my bills. I don't know why, um, but there's something satisfying about it. Um, I'm gonna come through and write all of the actual amounts of things that came out or things that were withdrawn. I'm paying bills on my iPad uh, to my left. So if you see me pause for a moment, I'm paying a bill and then I'm coming and writing it down or the bill's already cleared and I'm just adding the actual amount and then putting a check mark. If it's cleared my account, I'll put a little check. And if it's going to take a while to clear, like it was a electronic transfer, then I will write it down and then put a little circle to the side and check it once it clears. You'll see me do that here, I think, on my credit card payment. Yeah, so that's the circle. And then you just check it once it clears your account. So this is something you're going to update throughout every single um, day of your paycheck. So until your next paycheck, you're gonna be updating the actual column. And this is completely optional. It's our expense tracker. It's right next to the paycheck planner. You're going to write down your balance starting. So before payday, I write down what was in there before my paycheck hit. I add my paycheck and then every single thing that's cleared my account um, since payday and the balance here should reflect what's actually in your checking account again completely optional But I love to do this So after I start paying bills and bills clear my account I'm going to come to our bill payment tracker in the back trackers tab and check off the bills that I paid I like to li uh, list them in order by due date on the left just so it's a little bit easier. This is also our sample planner, so why not? It was a brand new one. But not everything will get checked because as I said, some bills come out automatic on their own. So after I do my bill payment tracker, typically I'll come to the back and update some of the debt trackers, but I only do that once a month. So for now, we're done in the planner. Okay, next we're jumping into my kids' allowance. This box is from Target. It says available work. And this little black thing I actually made, um, it's where they put their completed cards. And actually, whenever they finish it, one kid has to pay the other kid, so it keeps them honest. Um, this is where we keep the cash for them uh, to get paid from. Anything left, I'm gonna take it and put it in this cash jar. This is actually tips for our vacation. We're gonna be using that uh, at the end of the month. I'll put all of these back in each kid's envelope. The green are my sons, the blank ones are my daughters, and our other son is not a big fan of chores, but if he wants to help, then he's more than willing to help them and get some cash. I'm gonna restock this. This I think had $60 from the teller and it was all for the kids um, available allowance. So that will get restocked. Next, we're going to be stuffing our cash envelopes and sinking funds. This is the cash envelope binder I've used for a very, very long time. One of my friends makes a really good um, cash envelope binder and I used it last week, but this week I'm stuffing things that I don't have the envelopes for. So I gotta order new ones, but everything that's left over uh, in my purse and in my wallet, I kind of threw in here. So this dollar will go into our vacation tips jar. I'm super excited to use this on our vacation. I can't wait. So we are going to jump right in. I wrote down on this little ugly piece of paper the denominations that go <laughs> in each one just so I wouldn't be left without fives, tens, and all that. Oh, 
a little trick I like to do is fold the smallest bill on the outside. That way I think that I only have small bills inside. I kind of play a game with myself. I'm a true spender. So I spend every single dollar in the envelope. And this is like a nice little way for me to trick myself that I only have $10. So we'll scratch out the ones that I already stuffed. Again, this is the ugliest piece of paper that I just scratch things on, but you know what? This is a true payday routine because this is what I do, except without obviously the propped up bills and the camera. <laughs> I'm just going to use everything that I budgeted for in my variable bills or in my sinking funds or savings category on my paycheck planner to stuff all the envelopes. A little trick, again, I like to have something that tells me if I wanted fives, tens, twenties inside of the envelope. That's why I have the paper. And then switch things around as you need to. So I ended up actually stuffing my son's birthday in my cash envelopes for my purse. And then once I thought about it his birthday is not till September and I don't want to be carrying around um $200 bills or even more than that in my purse I'd rather keep it in a safe spot at home so I'm going to later move that to my sinking fund so this is my cash envelopes binder which goes in my purse and is lots of everyday spending and then we have our sinking funds, which is more a stay at home, longer term savings or something that you are going to be saving over a period of time. So I actually stopped using this when I bought my house and I'm trying to get um, more consistent with it. That's why I bought this little pink zipper case, which is from the brand uh, Simple Shops. She has an Etsy. She's always sold out. So you kind of have to get on that if you want one. But I'm going to stuff all of my sinking funds. And then this is the $5,000 savings challenge. Um, this is where I ended up moving my son's birthday money after I thought about it. And I moved a 50 into gifts that I had left over um, instead of putting it in my, sink, uh, in my savings challenge. The gifts money I ended up putting in there. I will put our vacation savings and our savings challenge envelope for now just because I can't find my vacation envelope, sinking funds, cash envelopes, and my tip jar. The last step for me is going to be to update my digital sinking funds tracker. This is in our digital planner as well as any of our printable planners on our website. I'm going to update only the sinking funds envelopes, not my cash envelopes, um, the small one essentially I would not track just the one that stays at home I'll track the change and then the total amount of cash uh, that changed over the month